I am making my whole grain banana nut muffins. And I like muffins because they use up things you got kicking around that maybe you don't want to eat anymore, but you don't want to throw away because you don't waste food. You're smart like that. So uh, whole grain banana nut muffins, and I'm gonna show you a few of my tricks along the way, and I promise to keep things short. We'll see, right? Okay, so in this bowl are two mashed bananas. It looks like nasty baby food, but uh, they used to look like this, and I have to personally mash all of my banana. I like to just throw stuff, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun, right? I got someone coming and clean this up later. It's me, I'm cleaning it up later. Oh well, what I was trying to say is that uh, my sous chef, she does not care for any banana evidence in her banana nut muffins. So that requires me to uh, give it a lot of extra mash. So you may be like, Sarah, you've gone too far with those bananas. I mean, it looks like soup, banana soup. It does a little bit. Doesn't look super appetizing, but I am getting them mashed for her. And uh, if you don't care, then you don't have to go this far with it. But alas, I'm a sucker for the sous chef. All right. So here we go. I'm using, in case you're like, what is that thing? This is actually an avocado masher. I know. My husband gave this to me like eons ago. I was so excited about it. Here's my little guacamole shirt. He gave me this too. Uh, but it, it does so much more than mash avocado. It mashes bananas. It'll mash whatever you wanted to mash. Put some eggs. Mash it. Just mash it. Okay. Then I am putting in one whole large egg and just plop it on in there. There's no rhyme or reason. And then I'm also going to add, this is a mixture of avocado oil and vegetable oil. You can use whatever oil you want. If you want to use coconut oil, oh my gosh, do it. You're fabulous like that. Okay, that was a third cup, something like it. This is vanilla extract. I prefer the pure, the pure vanilla extract. It's a thing of beauty. It smells like yummy vanilla extract. You'll see if you get the fake stuff, it smells and it makes your food taste nasty, so don't do it to yourself. Especially if you're making delicious muffins. I'm eyeballing this. I don't know. A teaspoon? Who cares? Okay, then I'm going to get a whisk. All good chefs should be prepared. I guess I'm not a good chef. Okay, here we go. Again, I always use a bowl that's too small. It's a good tip. Uh huh. So I'm basically whisking all the wet stuff together here, guys. It's very complicated making muffins. Move that to the side, okay? Then here comes the fun business. Now I'm using a mixture of whole grain flours. You're like, Sarah, stop being such a dietitian. I can't help myself, all right? So just be quiet about it. Just deal. Again, totally not prepared. What I wanted to talk to you about in here is I've got one and a half cups of flour. And my tip for you is that my recipe, which is already on my website, calls for you to lightly scoop the flour. Now that doesn't mean like, you know, jam your thing in there and then just dump it in your bowl. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scoop and you're literally gonna lightly, like bear, like it's like it's baby snow and you don't wanna ruin it. And then you're gonna shake it, look at me shaking it, I'm just shaking it until I get to the rim. And you can see like it's so lightly in there right now. You can also just spoon it in and you can do that too and then level it off with a knife. But I find this technique works really well. The reason you need to lightly scoop is because, number one, you're not using your scale to measure out the flour, and that would be the best way to do it. Uh, and number two, if you get too much flour in here, you're gonna have hockey pucks. Yuck. Hockey pucks are for hockey. That's like golf. Not for your mouth. Okay? So one and a half lightly scooped cups of whole grain flour. This is a blend of delicious Janie's Mill flour. I love them. They're a local Illinois farm, and they have the most beautiful, delicious flour. Uh, could you use other flour? Of course. Just make sure you lightly scoop it, okay? All right, into that goes some baking powder. We got a little bit of cinnamon. Yum. If you, if you like a lot, you go for more, okay? Salt, always salt. Don't you dare skip it, I'll be so mad at you. Uh, and then we'll give that a little stir. Mm -hmm. Isn't this easy? So easy. All right, you guys are like, where's the sugar? Yeah, 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 I hear you. I forgot it, it's over here. Okay, so I forget how much this is. Uh, it's in my recipe, but I think it's like half a cup. Do you have to use all the sugar? Of 
course not. Oh my gosh, if you are someone who is watching your sugar intake and you say those bananas are already sweet enough, skip it or decrease it. It's totally fine by me, okay? All right. So now that you've got all your wet stuff together, tap, tap, tap your whisk because you don't want to make a mess. A mask? What's a mask? Nobody knows. I can never talk. What's my problem? Okay, so wet stuff, dry stuff, all right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to get a bigger bowl. I wish whoever helps me prep stuff would have just helped me a little more. That's me. I never help myself. Okay, <laughs> here's my big bowl. Into my big bowl, I'm going to put my dry stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Do I want to put it dry and wet? No, I've totally forgotten. Who cares? Put the dry stuff on. Oh, I don't know. In goes the wet stuff. And then here's my big trick for you. Okay, you ready? My big trick for you is don't over mix it. The reason your muffins end up kind of hard and nasty is that you over mix it. So here we go, see inside my bowl? Just giving it a few folds around. And I'm only gonna mix it until I see that most of that flour has been incorporated into the wet stuff. I'm getting real close because I still need to get my nuts in there too. So let's not get too crazy. Okay, so you see, I'm done. I'm not gonna stir it anymore, hands off. I'm gonna add my walnuts. This is a quarter cup of toasted walnuts. So good when you toast them. And if you have kids, or if you're just a kid at heart like me, you can add some mini chocolate chips. I like the mini ones because then you get a ton of them and it's delicious. So you always get a little bit of chocolate in every bite. Who doesn't love chocolate in every bite? I don't wanna meet you. Then you fold it in. Oops, there we go, turn it your way. There you go, see, we're getting there few more turns and we'll be done. Again, don't over stir it, okay? Folding it over kind of helps work some of that flour into the wet dough. And then that's it, you're done, stop. Okay, and then next up, you've got your oven heated to 375. You've got your sous chef over there waiting for you to get these things done. This is gonna make about 12 muffins, okay? Take your little scoop, I like mine. Makes it a lot easier. And then you can just dump them right into your pan. So that's it. After you fill these up about three quarters of the way full, you're gonna bake them for about 12 minutes. Maybe check them about 10 minutes, especially if your oven runs hot. And stick a little uh, toothpick in there. If it comes out clean, they're ready to go. Uh, I sometimes sprinkle a little sugar on top of these. You don't have to do that. Uh, you can also make a little crumble to put on top and that's yummy. Otherwise, you can just stick them in there bake them and they'll be delicious and you'll love them. So that's it. Wasn't that fun? We made muffins together. We used up all your bananas and we used some whole grain flours and some nuts. So you got a real nutritious snack anytime. Thanks so much for joining me. Check out the recipe. It's on my website. I think I call them uh, whole grain banana nut muffins. It's super all right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and joining me on this most random episode of Muffin Making. Have an awesome weekend.